it was a strange feeling that the dive was over, almost anticlimactic, but it gives you that chance now to reflect on things. And uh, and I really did. I was quite proud of the dive. You know, the wind was blown. It was the middle of the night. It was an exciting time. And I was struck for the first time with this sense that these two vessels, although separated by a huge ocean, thousands of miles, were victims from two separate U-boat attacks on exactly the same moment in time. And uh, and even though I always thought of the war as having been fought in France, for the first time I realized its closeness to North America. Here were U-boats lurking in our backyard. And uh, a very sad moment, too. Leopoldville having sunk with hundreds of men having lost their lives. Uh, I'm wandering again. Oh, that's good. Um, let's go with the... Uh Oh, be careful there with the exact same time. Yeah. It's the same day. Could be, we don't really know. Well, I figured it out. And you know what? It was within 20 minutes. Is that right? Yeah, 20 minutes. Because you have the time difference, uh-huh. and although it's not the same time on the clock, in reality, when those two right. torpedoes struck, they were 20 minutes apart. That I know. I, f- yeah. I calculated it. Yeah. So it's really fair to say while there were men struggling for their lives in the water off mm-hmm. Cherbourg, France, the men from the Claycott were also in the water struggling for their lives. Except uh, in the story, the men were struggling like 20 minutes earlier. Doesn't really yeah. work perfectly. No. Well, it didn't happen same exactly the same moment, but... Yeah. Th- same yeah. evening. You yeah. know, when the sun was going down. Well, it, but it, you see, it really wasn't. It was it's evening... It was it was afternoon here and it was night there, but it was the same moment in time. Yeah, right. While well, there were men swimming for their lives yeah, yeah. It, here off our coast, they yeah, were also yeah. struggling in the water off the coast of Cherbourg, France. But uh, it's just hard to make that sort of. If we were to say that, it uh-huh. sort of contradicts the way the story unfolds. Is it in the show? Ah, uh, ah, you know uh, uh, yep, yep. We, first we hit the torpedo and they, mm-hmm. you know, and then. Mm-hmm. And then the guy, the survivor, comes on and mm-hmm. talks about sinking, and then you never, you never are told. You're left to right. think that it happened the same day, but not yeah, at the, almost within, the same I mean, moment. We make it sound like it's within the same, you know. It's within 20 minutes. Yeah, it's just we don't get that specific, and it, it's hard for people. We just that's a really neat thing, right? And, and I think it is. I think it is a neat thing, and it's too bad we can't say it. But well, we could say it. I suppose being the final, final thing. I, you know what? That, to me, that always was an amazing thing. Can I can I try it? Say see that. what see, Just say that. say, say what I want to say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh wait a minute! What's going on here? Fax machine. Shoot, that's gonna. Do you want to put it on pause? Yeah. It was a great feeling now that the dive was over. It really was a sense of accomplishment. I, I was proud of what we had all done together. I was especially proud of the fact that my son was there and that he was such a big contributor in this whole process after what was almost a whole summer of searching and diving. We finally now had identified the resting place of Clayoquot. And I was left with this odd feeling, a feeling that the war was now much closer to North America than I ever thought about it being. Uh, Leopoldville gave up its its days off of Cherbourg, France. And here we were in North Atlantic, off the coast of North America, uh, separated by thousands of miles in a vast ocean, yet uh, two separate ships sunk at almost the same instant in history, Christmas Eve, 1944. And while the Leopoldville, hundreds of men died, Clayoquot was a sad sacrifice. It, It was an unintended victim. I'm sure the crew that night didn't realize that uh, they had unknowingly protected probably a much bigger target from having been sunk. The Germans were there to sink large vessels with large contingents of men and armament. Clayquat, for whatever reason, uh, ended up being the victim that night and probably saved a lot of men from dying. 